Good morning, guys. I want to talk about one of the things that I mentioned yesterday that's one of the most debated things that I've ran across, and that's drinking. Um, I was the guy who would wake up in the morning, and I would fix my drink, and I would have my drink, and then I would make sure I had a drink for later, and I would make sure that I had more drink for later after that, and that was the process for me daily. Um, a lot of times once I started drinking, I became drunk. I always had a buzz and that's just who I was. Now, the question, the debate that I see a lot is, is it a sin for a man to have a drink, a beer? Aaron goes out for, for lunch. He has a beer. There's no sin in that. Scripture talks about the drunkard which is what I used to be. Scripture doesn't talk about the guy who has one drink. Some people say, you know, even Jesus drank wine. Okay, so did Jesus get drunk? Did you see him stammering around in Scripture or anything like that? No. Scripture talks about the drunkard. The question was brought to me one time about, you know, if Aaron goes and has a beer, that's a sin. Well, that question that was brought to me was by a Christian who smokes three or four packs of cigarettes a day. Now, and I asked him, which is better, which sounds less sinful to him? And he sat there a minute and it really stuck him because let's flip the scenario. This man, every auto moment he had, he was rushed. He would, he would smoke a cigarette even if he had 30 seconds. He, he was trying to smoke that cigarette, you know, the quickest he could. Now, if Aaron had to have a drink every auto moment throughout the day, constantly, all day, every day, you see, you see where that, that breaks down, right? It's the control issue. It is the emphasis on the alcohol. So the sin is the drunkard, not the one who has a drink.